For about the last six years or so, I've been involved in a, uh, a Mar Quartet. We've really enjoyed the, the variety of plays that we've been able to perform. After a time, I found that I was, I was getting some uh, nasal sort of issues. The problems that were there, the blocking of the sinuses all the time was causing a constant infection in my throat. And I was finding that I was having a constant sore throat all the time. That would never quite develop into a cold, but it was constantly there. And of course, that caused a lot of issues for me with concerts that we'd do and performances. I wanted to, to believe that that God was going to come through with it and uh, that he, because it was for him, that he would perhaps heal me. When nothing initially happened, I thought, well, what's God doing here? I mean, you know, there are so many examples of people being healed, you know, and I've, I've heard of them, of people, their acquaintances that have, have been healed. And I thought, well, you know, that didn't happen to me. I'm trying to do this ministry for him. Uh, it's for his honour and glory. Why? Why wouldn't he have healed me? That was a big question mark moment for me, I guess. I guess it's natural to question God and, and question the whole healing experience. I decided, well, I needed to go and see a, a surgeon, a specialist. He organised some scans, which showed up very uh, blocked sinuses, and the openings into them were, were too small. And he said, well, we have to open those out wider and through surgery. And so I uh, was admitted to a hospital and went through that, that surgery. Soon after the operation, within a day or two, I started to bleed from the nose. Over the next few days, I would have a number of bleeds every day. I measured at one stage about 180 mil per bleed. Uh, and one night particularly, it was a Friday night, I had about five or six bleeds during the night. Next morning, after another bleed, I collapsed on the bathroom floor. I had very low blood pressure and, and I remember uh, sort of must have been going in and out of consciousness. Uh, I didn't uh, recognise the time but very soon it appeared that the, the ambulance guys were there and they, they took me off to admit me to a casual unit. With the low blood pressure that I had at the time, I fainted again and apparently had a seizure. I was whisked away and given an EEG. I went to another specialist who immediately put me into a, another hospital to have a, a second operation. There were feelings of frustration and I guess more than anything else, just that not knowing uh, was hard. About that time, as I was going through this journey, a good friend of mine who had been praying for me got in touch and he said that he had an experience where a distinct audible voice came to him and said, tell Peter, that everything's going to be okay. And I must admit, you know, that made a huge impact on me. When the God of the universe lets you know that, that not only he wants you to know that things are going to be okay, but that he actually knows your name like that, that made a huge impression on me. After the second surgery, the results were very positive. It was a, a great relief, I guess, to feel the fact that there were going to be no more, certainly bleeding issues, but the fact that the problem was finally, you know, fixed and, and healed up. And that had a, a big impact on my ability to sing with the group. And that was a just incredible relief. Prayer is communicating with a God who knows my name, a God who cares. And sometimes we think we're just talking to the ceiling and it bounces back at us. But, but really this, this whole experience showed me that, that we are petitioning a God who not only cares what happens to us, he had all my good at heart. It made me want to have a much closer relationship with this God who knows my name. <laughs>